English Tim here. Today we are looking at how to uh, prepare for the next festival shop event. So this is a, the event where you, uh, at the start of every month, so around the first week of every month, you will find that there's a uh, shop event where you can gather two different uh, collectible items which can be used to purchase upgrades and all sorts of, uh, of good stuff. Please hit that subscribe button, it helps support me in future development. So um, to be able to get ready to do really well in that event, and I would suggest you really do target that as your main upgrade event. It um, really is the best time to do uh, stronghold upgrades, equipment upgrades, and to uh, do um, speed ups for research and things of that type. And you get paid basically for doing all of those upgrades you would otherwise do. So what you want to do is start saving and um, those things that will give you points during the event. Don't try to do them now as far as possible. Try to stop. I know it can be tough sometimes. You want to make that upgrade and get ready to fight today. But these will give you the same upgrades in a couple of weeks, but also give you more re rewards for doing so when you do it then. So lucky shot. You want to make sure that you don't spend your lucky shot coins and you want to make sure you collect as many as you can. So you can get two per day from the uh, from the kingdom quest. So you can see once you get to 180 points, and when you get to 340 points, you get a lucky shot coin from each of those. So that's two per day, so that's a good amount to get started once the event comes around. Now you want to save your Philosopher's Stone, so in the library you'll have the ability to do superior research, which will cost Philosopher's Stone. I would not do any of those bits of research until the Festival Shop event starts and you should be collecting more of those stones where possible by hitting monsters and high level barbarians and the like and uh, you can often get them from the netherfall shop as well so yep you can see here they are so you want to try and collect the philosopher's stones from the netherfall shop so if your alliance is able to qualify then that would be a, a brilliant uh, a brilliant event to take part in. As an aside, I think it's one of the most fun events and it's zero risk if you want it to be, so you don't lose any troops uh, for real, they're only uh, temporary losses during the battle. So you want to save your war scrolls, so here in the Hall of War you have the Library of War and when you uh, create Tomes of War you uh, can get a game rewarded and it costs war scrolls which are very hard to get hold of, though they have made them easier to get hold of in the uh, spirit altar you can now get them so that wasn't the case previously so uh, yep you can add more scrolls of war from from here and there they are so you uh, also want to try and stop doing stronghold upgrades once you've got to sort of the mid 20s low to mid 20s so stronghold 25 and up you probably don't want to be doing any upgrades of that type until these events as you get a 50 percent off buff which is very cheap to purchase using in-game currency that you've earned during an event and you can also use 33% buffs very very cheaply as well so uh, any really expensive upgrades I would save till then and I would also try and save any equipment upgrades of any kind that would uh, increase your highest score so if you go to your uh, Lord picture at the top and uh, then if you scroll down to the bottom here you'll see your current high scores. So what you want to do is not do any upgrades that will raise your uh, gemstone score, hero weapon score, dragon emblem, artifact, equipment, or statue score. So you want to keep these all the same until the start of the next event. Doesn't mean you don't get to upgrade to higher level items, you can. Uh, so if you check the new center and go to recommended, then you'll see you can check out the score of your current item and compare it with the new item. So I was able to replace my Hegemony Flail, which is at plus three, which was at 86,000 odd points. Replaced it with a Destruction Sword here. And you can see the Destruction Sword is only at 14,000. And even when it's upgraded to one level, it's at 51,000. So that means my highest level score is still lower, even though I've replaced it with a much better weapon. However, you shouldn't upgrade your Destruction Sword to a higher level still as you will then be spending all these extra score points which would get you a huge number of prizes during the event and getting nothing for it. So stop once you get towards your uh, your current highest level score. Now you should also try and save up those, um, those speed ups. So instead of burning them uh, just left, right and center, try and keep hold of them. So uh, research, construction, troop training and for your library of war, uh, creation of war tomes. 
So uh, try not to spend any of them if possible, but the odd one here or there's fine. If you're gonna have your queue empty overnight, that's a waste. So it's worth spending a few here and there just to keep your uh, queues running efficiently. However, you don't wanna be burning lots of them. And you should also be trying to collect more. So if you go to your exchange and alchemist corner, you'll be able to see in the trials shop, there are quite a lot of speed ups available depending on how far through the trials you've got. Yours may not have quite so many available or you may have the full set. So try and uh, purchase those each day if you can. And whilst you're in the store here, you should also be trying to purchase the longer term items. If you check my earlier video on items, which are these power items that can allow you to get more upgrades later. So if you don't have a full set of ap apocalyptic statues, then you should be buying those each day. And you should be doing the same in the Spire Loot store. So you should be uh, collecting the Black Horn of Skin and the Wildfire Ascendant Scroll if you don't have a full set of those level items or higher. You should also be getting crafting materials, so the Lake Gravel you can purchase each day, and the Enchanted Mist. And you'll also be able to see that uh, you can get Steel and Meteorite Iron as well as Crystallized Gems. And if you go to the Undead Trader, this one uh, you have to have gone quite a long way through, so it might not be available to you, but when it is available, you should purchase the 60 minute learning speed up, so there's 5 hours a day available and the, uh, the, the raw stone statue and raw marble statue can both be converted into statue manufacturing materials and they will all be helpful to upgrade items during the event. So yeah, hopefully this will give you a great boost to, uh, to getting ready for your next event. So if you can uh, focus your efforts to uh, being prepared, you'll get some brilliant scores and then you'll be able to buy a lot of lovely new stuff during the next event. So yeah, if you are enjoying my content, please hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I look forward to you joining me on my next video.